Hello everybody, my name is Ender and in our previous video we saw how to upgrade Archuria Mini Lab Make 2 and how to reset it. In this video, let's see how it works with Analog Lab and what are the new changes and how we can use them. So let's go ahead. This is our uh, Analog Lab and we are in preset 1 which is the default preset. Pads are lit and these are MIDI notes. So when we hit the pad, the color changes. If we keep it pressed, the color changes and then it is red by default. Let's see how the old controls work. If we press shift and encoder 1, we can control the overall volume. And if we let go of shift, yeah. Knob 1 for browsing the filters. Knob 9 for browsing the presets. Blade of Canada. They could have simply called it Boards of Canada. And we have pad 9 for changing part 1, the first instrument, DX7. Part 2 of the multi, which is CS80 on pad 10. Pad 11 for live mixer. And all the controls are different. There is one small problem with the live mixer. If you see part 2 which is our second instrument and in the mixer we have mix control. So if we are moving one knob it is changing first instrument. It shouldn't be. By default it needs to be part 2 send A Part 2, send B. This needs to be changed, Arturia. I'll notify them by mail also. So, quit the mixer. Part 1, 2, and 3. And overall volume of the parts in the mixer. Sends. Sends of the first instrument working correctly and pad 14 is to basically clear all the filters that you've selected before yeah and 15 and 16 are simple pads given for same thing which this knob does going up and down the presets but here by pressing you're changing the presets here it gives you the option of browsing and then selecting. So that's analog lab control. And in MIDI control center, let's see, these are universal settings. Bad backlight is on, so we are seeing by default we have. Um, let me reduce the volume. By default, we have red color. And octave button, if we go higher. Yeah, it's not blinking, so we don't get to know which octave you're playing. I would like to have it blinking. If you make changes here in the device setting, they're universal. To all the memories or the templates that you make so this is the device setting part basically for lights rest of the controls are the same you can import and export the device settings controller map let's change the default color red pads so I will select analog lab and recall from analog lab 
it's better than creating a new template because um, in the new template pad uh, 9 10 11 and 14 15 16 won't be configured so it's better to recall from uh, the read only because it can be recalled and rename it double click analog lab let's say white I want it to be more subtle so white select pad 1 make sure pad 1 is selected white to white white So I am changing the color for only pad 1 to 8. The star indicates that this template needs to be saved. Save it. Let's push it to memory 2. Select the receiving memory and the template that you want to send and then store to. Yeah. So we are in memory 2 this is memory 1 which is red pads memory 2 white pads and rest of the pads the same these two are blank and let's see how it works so we have yeah filter browsing we have preset browsing and we let's take this it's just cmi Volume control. And for parts, part one, part two, and live mixer. And this is to clear the filter. Yeah, filter cleared. And yeah, so everything works. Now we have white. You could change it to any other color. So let's see the options that we have. We have total of, sorry, pads. So you have white, yellow, cyan purple green blue red or no color you can switch it off also which is pretty cool so so that's about it i mean you can instead of white if you suppose want to just have no color and just midi notes and you don't want uh these analog lab pad behavior in some presets so just do a new and say blank and select any pad and uh, come to no color and copy right click over here and say copy value to other pads so it will be blank save save it to memory 7 maybe store to so the memory 7 is blank memory 1 is default red memory this is this is how you change colors you can set individual colors for individual uh, let's use the blank only so here we have let's put it on red blue green purple Cyan, yellow, and white, and save in memory six. Store to yeah. So these are the colors. I think colors have better use when you're making some sort of a control surface uh, script for uh, triggering certain things in your DAW. So that's where color can be very helpful on the keyboard they're just like a little rainbow i don't know 
uh, I don't know, if you like them, you can use it. So this is pretty much how you change the color and how you recall your default uh, um, memory or send to any empty memory. You can't send anything to memory one and eight. So two to seven. And then if you've made something analog lab white, if you wanted to save it in some folder, export, export it to say like desktop analog lab white save and it'll be here this file and like white uh, mini lab so the extension saves as mini lab and get a very tiny file so this is this is how it is done i hope this video was helpful to you and uh, i'll be making another video about archuria mini lab make to set up uh, in logic pro till then uh, uh, take care and stay safe see you bye